Often, we receive many questions, like which is the best bomber aircraft in the world? Which is the greatest modern bomber and why? Our analysis is based on the combined score of stealthiness, armament, payload, speed, range, and technology. All of these bombers mentioned here are incredibly deadly and devastating. Our analysis is based on specifications, available data, and technical comparison. This list does not contain bombers that are currently under development or at the prototype stage. It includes only operational warplanes. Boeing B-47 Stratojet the Boeing B-47 Stratojet is a retired American long-range, six-engined, turbojet-powered strategic bomber designed to fly at high subsonic speed and at high altitude to avoid enemy interceptor aircraft. The primary mission of the B-47 was as a nuclear bomber capable of striking targets within the Soviet Union. The XB-47 which looked nothing like contemporary bombers. It was described by Boeing as a sleek, beautiful outcome that was highly advanced. The 35-degree swept wings were shoulder-mounted. The inboard turbojet engines mounted in twin pods at about a third of the span, and the outboard engines singingly near the wingtip. The XB-47 was designed to carry a crew of three in a pressurized forward compartment, a pilot and co-pilot in tandem, in a long fighter-style bubble canopy, and a navigator slash bombardier in a compartment in the nose. The co-pilot doubled as a tail gunner, using a remotely controlled radar-directed tail gun, and the navigator as a bombardier. During the late 1940s, the bomber was hailed as the fastest of its class in the world. The first prototypes were fitted with General Electric J-35 turbojets, the production version of the TG-180, with 3,970 pound-feet of thrust, 17.7 kilonewtons. The performance of the Model 450 was projected to be so good that the bomber would be as fast as fighters on the drawing board. Convair B-58 Hustler the Convair B-58 Hustler, designed and produced by American aircraft manufacturer Convair, was the first operational bomber capable of Mach 2 flight. The B-58 was developed during the 1950s for the United States Air Force, the USAF, Strategic Air Command, SAC. To achieve the high speeds desired, Convair adapted the Delta Wing used by contemporary fighters such as the Convair F-102. The bomber was powered by four General Electric J-79 engines in underwing pods. It had no bomb bay. It carried a singular nuclear weapon, plus fuel in combination with a bomb fuel pod underneath the fuselage. Later, four external hardpoints were added, enabling it to carry up to five weapons. The B-58 became notorious for its sonic boom heard on the ground by the public as it passed overhead at supersonic flight. The B-58 was designed to fly at high altitudes and supersonic speeds to avoid Soviet interceptors. But with the Soviet introduction of high-altitude surface-to-air missiles, the B-58 was forced to adopt a low-level penetration role that severely limited its range and strategic value. The B-58 was substantially more expensive to operate than other bombers, such as the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, and required more frequent aerial refueling. The B-58 also suffered from a high rate of accident losses. These factors resulted in a relatively brief operational career of 10 years. The B-58 was succeeded in its role by the smaller, swing-wing FB-111A. General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark The General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark is a retired American supersonic medium-range interdictor and tactical attack aircraft 
that also filled the roles of strategic nuclear bomber, aerial reconnaissance, and electronic warfare aircraft in its various versions. The F-111 was an all-weather attack aircraft capable of low-level penetration of enemy defenses to deliver ordnance on the target. The F-111 featured variable geometry wings, an internal weapons bay, and a cockpit with side-by-side -side seating. The cockpit was part of an escape crew capsule. The wing sweep varied between 16 degrees and 72.5 degrees, full forward to full sweep. The wing included leading edge slats and double slotted flaps over its full length. The airframe was mostly made up of aluminum alloys with steel, titanium, and other materials used in places. The fuselage was made of a semi monocroak structure with stiffened panels and honeycomb structure panels for skin. The F 111 used a three point landing gear arrangement with a two wheeled nose gear and two single wheel main landing gear units. The landing gear door for the main gear, which was positioned in the center of the fuselage, also served as a speed brake in flight. Most F-111 variants included a terrain-following radar system connected to the autopilot. The aircraft was powered by two Pratt & Whitney TF-30 afterburning turbofan engines. Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit The black, bat-like B-2 Spirit is the silver bullet of U.S. policy reserved for use against targets of the highest priority. This strategic bomber was designed during the Cold War. The whole development program was kept in high secrecy. Currently, the B-2 is the most expensive aircraft ever built. The USAF operates only 20 of these strategic bombers due to their high price. This advanced aircraft was never offered for sale to any other country even NATO allies. The B-2 is almost invisible to radars due to its sophisticated design and radar absorbent coating. It can easily overcome enemy air defense. Many of the sensors and avionics of this warplane remain classified. Also, it has a classified electronic warfare system. This plane carries a powerful array of weaponry it can carry about 18,000 kilograms of combat payload, including cruise missiles, thermonuclear free-fall bombs, and precision-guided bombs. It can fly over 12,000 kilometers without the need to refuel. Currently, the B-2 Spirit is the best bomber ever built. Tupolev Tu-95 The turboprop-powered Tu-95 strategic bomber NATO designed Bear entered service in 1956 and remains an important part of Russia's long range air power. Originally, this bomber was designed to carry nuclear bombs to the US territory. It can carry about 15,000 kilograms of payload. Now, updated models of the Bear carry six long range cruise missiles. The Bear has an unrefueled range of about 12,500 kilometers. The later model's range was improved to about 15,000 kilometers. Over 500 of these aircraft were built. This entered service in 1984 and was manufactured until 1992. Currently, about 60 Tu-95 MS aircraft are in service with the Russian Air Force. It remains the only turboprop-powered strategic bomber in use. Despite its age, the type will remain in service until at least 2040. Tupolev Tu-22M The Tu-22M was developed from the earlier Tu-22 design, incorporating variable geometry outer wing panels. This aircraft lacks sufficient range for truly strategic missions and is classified as a medium-range bomber. The Tu-22M bomber, operated by the Soviet Naval Aviation, were intended to engage U.S. carrier battle groups. This bomber carries up to 24,000 kilograms of payload, including missiles and freefall bombs. Over 570 of Tu-22M aircraft of all versions have been built. 
The Tu-22M3 is the latest version and remains numerically the most important bomber in the Russian Air Force's long-range Air Army inventory. About 90 of these bombers are currently in service with the Russian Air Force. 58 more are operated by the Russian Naval Aviation. This aircraft is also in service with the Indian Navy. Xi'an H-6K The basic Xi'an H-6 was a license-produced version of the Soviet Tu-16 medium-range bomber. At least 150 of these bombers were built. The H-6 can carry 9,000 kilograms of payload, including various air-to-surface, air-to-ship missiles, or freefall bombs. Some of the versions can carry air-launched cruise missiles. This bomber can deliver nuclear weapons. Over 100 of these bombers are still in service with China. The latest H-6K evolved into a long-range strategic bomber. This aircraft entered service within the last couple years. This bomber has new engines and carries more fuel for longer range. It is armed with air-launched cruise missiles under its wings. It is believed that this aircraft has significantly improved avionics, search, and attack radar, navigation, fire control, and weapon precision. The H-6K is capable of attacking U.S. carrier battle groups and priority targets in Asia. It also has a nuclear strike capability. We hope you liked the video, and we want to know which was your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and bell down below if you want to make sure to never miss out on important new information like this.